Hello and welcome back. Today we're tuning back into YouTuber Hannah Witten in her video called The Truth About Being Single. Let's check it out. A few months ago my friend Lena made a video called The Truth About Being Single in which she just laid out all of her truths and thoughts on being single and her own experiences. So you copied this video idea from your friend. How original. I have been single and by single I mean not in a long-term serious relationship for five and a half years now. Red flag. Any girl like this who's been single for over five years has got issues. Unstable, needy, or narcissistic come to mind. And I feel like the only representation that I see of single lives on like TV and in movies and stuff is either this like sad, wallowing person who just like wants to be in a relationship and they're just depressed and they just have like loads of awful, horrible dates. That's her. That's how she feels. She's projecting now. Or that's this like casual sex, crazy party, single life, or like this journey of self-discovery. That's called guys in their 20s, sometimes 30s. She's now describing the people she is jealous of, people who were able to have fun, sex-filled escapades while they were young, before they finally settled down with the right person. Sounds like Hannah hasn't experienced any of that. And that's just not it's just not what it's like. Confirmed. She's not had fun, sexy times. She's had miserable, lonely times for over five years. So as an expert on this topic, you know, five and a half years of living it, I thought that I would just kind of like just chat about my experiences. To help organize my thoughts, I asked you guys on Twitter for just general questions to help me just bounce some ideas. I'm just gonna read them and then we're gonna talk about being single. But hopefully not in the sad, mopey way. Well, Hannah, maybe I'm a bit ahead of everyone else, but this video is already pretty sad. You're sad and I actually feel bad making fun of you. Almost. Last question. Uh, do you get lonely? Yeah. Yes, I do. It's not a case of feeling lonely and being alone, like, all of the time. It's more just like you get these bouts. <laughs> Wow. I'm actually starting to get sick of being right all the time. It's a blessing and a curse. Of loneliness, and I don't really know what necessarily brings it on. What brings on loneliness is the human's evolutionary need for companionship. And when you don't have, like, one person to, like, lay everything on and just be like, this happened, this happened, you kind of have to spread yourself a bit more thin. So you see your potential boyfriend as someone you lay stuff onto? That's a really healthy relationship strategy. The woman lays all her life and problems onto the man for him to manage, fix, and pay for. This imbalance in Hannah's view of relationships, this is part of why she's single. So I definitely feel lonely in those moments in terms of decision making of who to tell stuff to. I guess there's also, I have the genuine cliche of just like wanting someone to cuddle and I often move my pillows in a certain way and like Hug my pillows. Not ashamed. Not every night. Just some nights. This video gets sadder with each passing second. I too was single for about five years after college and not once did I feel sad or lonely nor did I hug my pillows and cry myself to sleep at night. I was single because I wanted to be. I had a few relationships before and was ready to play the field a little bit. This is not what Hannah Witten is doing. She's single because no one will put up with her bullshit. You can tell she would want a boyfriend if she could get one but no guys will stick around so she's gonna play it cool and say she's happy to be single. She is not. Do you ever have moments where you think no one will want to be with you. Great, we're doing real good here, guys. Um, again, yes, I do get those feelings. It's been five and a half years. I feel like up to three years, you're like, woo, single, isn't this great? Like, this is just what I need to be doing with my life right now. I'm not ready for a relationship, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm at a point where I'm like, Wait, is there something wrong with me? I think there is something wrong with you, Hannah. At least in your dating and expectations areas. I wouldn't say you're fucked up or ugly or anything. You seem nice, cute, and even kind of smart. But let's be real. You're 24 and haven't been able to get a boyfriend since you were 19. 19 to 24 are your prime years, lady. Any 20-year-old white woman can get a boyfriend, even if she's a dumb, ugly bitch. You must be doing something to scare men away. I'm guessing you're needy and self-centered, and you probably have expectations that are way too high. But I'm also also very hopeful that this is just a phase and that like say in a year's time if I'm still single then I won't be thinking this way at that point. There are so many people who 
never find the one and never settle down. Now it sounds like you're bargaining, Hannah. Anyone who wants to find a relationship can do it. You just have to lower your standards enough to find someone. I'm not saying you should do that and go out and date some gross fatty crack whore. I'm just saying it is possible. It just depends on how hard you try and how low you will go. That brings me to Hannah talking about finding the one, which is much different than finding a boyfriend or relationship. You see, much like Neo in the Matrix, the one is a mystical perfect person. Women like to fantasize about dating. It's a fairy tale. You'd have just as much luck finding a unicorn. Maybe if Hannah gave up on finding the one, she could actually give real guys a chance on dates and find herself a little boyfriend. Or have lots of ones, you know, like three marriages or whatever. And that's actually a lot more common. I'm 24. There's loads of time. Maybe I meet someone when I'm 80. If you don't die from chlamydia or hep C by then. Do you ever worry that you've found yourself while single to the extent that you won't be able to fit another person in? Yes, yes, yes. This question speaks to me. I have my life. I have my routine. I know the things that I enjoy and I'm super busy in terms of work and social life and hobbies. When I think practically, like practically in terms of time of fitting someone in, what? This is called being self-centered, Hannah, and it's totally fine to be that way. Just don't expect a man to want to jump into your life and schedule, throwing his aside. Relationships are supposed to be mutual. Both partners make adjustments and sacrifices to make each other happy. Until you show you're capable and willing to do this, guys are not going to want to date you. They can tell you're a busy girl with constant plans and work and trips with your friends. You don't have time for a boyfriend, and men see that and move on. That being said, I feel like if I meet someone who I really, really want to be with, I will make those sacrifices and I will compromise on my commitments and my time. That's always a big sign for me. It's like if I am not willing to sacrifice some of the things that I already have for another person, then I clearly don't like that person enough to be in a serious relationship with them. Well, that's part of your problem too. You're not giving guys a fair chance because you're so busy and cool and hip with all your friends. Yeah, what's up? You say you would sacrifice and give up on those things if you found the right guy, but that will never happen because your expectations are way too high. You really pigeonholed yourself here, Hannah. I don't know if I'm being too rigid and maybe I should give people a chance and s compromise before I know if I'm into them that much? Yes, you should do that. That's what I was getting at before. You're not giving men proper chances. You've probably already met a guy or two who you could have married and been happy with for the rest of your lives, but you pushed him away because you were too busy with YouTube collabs and talking about your period on live stream. I don't know. Priorities, eh? Here's the thing. I'm, I'm 24. Unless someone absolutely perfect comes along, then why would I make them a priority? That's a really harsh thing to say, Hannah. I just heard that come out of my mouth. No one is perfect. Wow. <laughs> This line is why I made the video. It's so horrible and great at the same time. She's actually realizing live on camera how ridiculous her dating strategy is. She admits she won't give up or change any part of her life unless a perfect man shows up. And first of all, not only will no man ever be perfect enough for her, Brad Pitt could show up and she would say, ew, I don't like your long hair. But secondly, if there was a perfect man out there, why in the hell would he choose a 24 year old YouTuber who's kind of cute but a six or seven at best? Why would the perfect man even give her the time of day when he could have any woman he wants? She might as well be waiting for the Easter Bunny to show up at this point. He's more likely to show up than the perfect man is. Hannah, your perfect person, partner, doesn't exist, Hannah. You will have to sacrifice and compromise. Get that into your stupid young person millennial self-entitled head. Yes, that attitude and those flappy arms both tell me you're gonna have to sacrifice to get a boyfriend, for sure. Wow, what is this video turning into? I'm just like having a breakdown, giving myself pep talks. Okay, great. Next question. This video is turning into an interesting study into the mind of a 24-year-old millennial who's finally realizing why she's single, while at the same time trying to defend it and be proud about it. It's truly tragic to watch. That's about all I can take of Hannah Witten today. It was getting a little too depressing, but you guys get the point. In the end, the reason why she's dated for five years without finding a meaningful relationship is because many millennials, like her, they don't see a romantic relationship as a meeting of two equals who complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. But instead, Hannah sees 
sees dating as a situation where her partner has to meet an enormous list of requirements that she has for the perfect man. And meanwhile, she does not demonstrate or provide any qualities that would justify such a man being with her. The lesson being, don't think you deserve a 10 when you're a 5 who refuses to improve yourself. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you guys think? Is Hannah happy being single? Did we just watch her almost break down? Would you rate her a 5 or a 6 out of 10? Comment below and thanks again for watching our new episode. No bullshit, out. Well, you asked for it and now you got it. New shirts are out at the No Bullshit Teespring store. We've got the plain No BS shirt, the Bullhead shirt, and my new favorite shirt brought to you by a quote from Zara Larson. Get your look at the static shirt today. Links below or just search No Bullshit on Teespring. Thanks again, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.